Has Manny Diaz and the Miami Hurricanes found a replacement for Cameron Harris? Let's find out. Welcome to Coach A's Football. W-R-E edition. Are you ready? Let, 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 let's get it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Coach A's Football, the W-R-E edition. Today, we are featuring one of the top running backs in South Florida named Thad Franklin. He is committed to the University of Miami. That's right, the U. And if you don't know, Coach Hayes is a U fan. Go through and through. So, this dude is six feet, 225 pounds. He's a four-star corner 247 sports, and he goes to Chaminade Madonna High School in Broward County. That's huge right now. We already know they have Cam Harris out of Carroll City. Okay, he's done a great job, but he's going to need a replacement, and we're going to find out if this is the guy right here. So before we get started to break him down, do me a favor, jump on to CoachHaysFootball.com. Check it out because it is the number one site for players, coaches, and fans. Also, you can pick up your Polo Little Timmy merchandise that helps support this channel. And also, if you want to nominate a player for Coach Hayes to WRE, please go to that site, go on the Fans tab. Hit the nomination button and you can nominate your player. That's where I'll get them from. I know people have been hitting me up in the DMs and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. I just can't keep up with it. So go there. That's where I'm going to grab all the nominations from. And if I pick you a guy, I definitely give you a shout out. All right. So with all that being said, we're going to check this man out. And guess what, that You about to get WRE, my man. Let's get it. All right, here we go, man. We're going to check you out. But before we get started, man, I found some real interesting facts about this young man. Listen. Three-time state champion from Shamanah Madonna broke the rushing record in the state game of 328 by Chav Travis Henry in 1996. He put up 333 in that game. Also, he rushed the ball for 47 times in that game. So, and that's breaking Kelvin Taylor, which is Fred Taylor's son, uh, carries a 44. I had to look it up just to make sure I didn't mess it up. Bro, to say this dude is a workhorse, is an understatement. Bro, 47 times in a high school game? My man is a straight thoroughbred. So we're gonna check him out right now. Let's get this thing going and let's see what it's all about. All right, here we go. Let's check you out, man. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you're all about, man. Here we go. Huh, good cut. Uh, get some. Oh, let's go step on your feet, big dog. I'm loving this run already. Get behind your pads. Mm, let me shoot out the cannon. Let's go. Come on. Come on, dog. You got to be able to take this thing 90, cuz. It look like the monkey on his back already, dog. It look like the monkey on his back. Uh, <laughs> let's go. I'm loving it, Thad. I'm hot. I like the little pink uniform for the breast cancer awareness, man. Pretty cool. Let's go. Let's go. Only thing I can say, and oh, no, I ain't celebrating. Only thing I can say from his running style, he's got like that a uh, elliptic glider run right down a high pickup a knee guy, man. So his feet kind of slide a little bit when he runs. But everybody's style is different. Oh, uh, great jump cut right there. Oh, let's go pull out up. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hey, I thought it was a little Timmy moment. Hey, whoever that is, he ain't getting it yet. It was close because he held on to the tackle, but I ain't gonna get him. But I love the way he comes out of this, right? And now that he's trapped, and this is what I always say about running backs, right? Sometimes when you trap, you just gotta punish a guy in the process, man. Love it. Ugh. That was stank right there. Golly. Let's go. My love is explosion through the hole, man. You know, a lot of guys like to tiptoe, wait for the hole. He get it and go. Look at that. Boom. One cut. Hit the gas. Let's go. Go ahead and stay on your feet. Six feet, 225? Oof. Stay up, baby. Let's go. And got great balance for a big guy, man. You know, a lot of running backs at that size, you know, they're big. But once you get that leg, they get the rumbling and stumbling. They fall down, man. Let's go. Huh. This dude look like he ready to ball right now, boy. Hey, Canes, you got you one. Uh, good cut. I love it. He, he's a one-cut guy. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go. Love the free arm. Let me go back real quick and talk about that. He does a great job with his free arm, right? And I don't really like to call it stiff arm. 
I like to call it your free hand or your free arm because stiff arm guys think they got to use a lot of power to push that guy down, not necessarily. If you watch a lot of tackling, if you just put it out there and use it as a buffer, a lot of guys will fall straight to their feet because they think they're in tackling mode. See how he just falls straight to his feet? He didn't push him down. He just kept him off of him. Great job using that free hand, man. All right, American Heritage. They got some ball players on their team too, man. Look at this. Let's go. Uh, okay. Little cut on there. I'm liking it. I like this guy, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I, only thing I'm gonna say, and I'll get into the cons of it, but look at this cut, man. Oh my God. One thing I can say about it is that people are gonna say, I can see right now, does he have top end speed? I'm gonna tell you this. Golly, I'm gonna tell you this. Let me pause this so I, so I can just shut up talking. Hold on. Listen, one thing I like about him, and you talk about top end speed, Sometimes when you see a lot of high, high, uh, highlights from high school and you're looking at guys from all over the country, here's where the problem lies. The talent level that they're playing against or the competition they're playing against is not always up here, right? I know in South Florida, especially coached there 20 years, everybody can run. So it may not look like this dude is running fast because his competition is also running fast. But trust me, this cat can run. I'm looking at it. So when you look at these other tapes, you see guys be blowing dudes out 20, 30 yards because the competition level is down here. Here, trust me, there's a lot of Division I players out here. All right, let me see. This is like Carroll City they playing right here. Looks like it. I may be wrong. Look at this. That's a tough dude right there, man. Get some. I like he played behind his pads, man. You know, he don't get caught up in these doggone NFL highlights where they juke and jive all the time. He goes straight to it. When he get trapped, he punish you. That's the sign of a thunder running back. You know what I mean? He may not be that lightning guy like they have in Knighton uh, at Miami right now. But guess what? You need that combination. You need that thunder and lightning combination. Let's go. Great job. Saw him, saw him use his hand to keep him off of him? Love it. Cut that one short. I don't know. Maybe a fumble. I don't know. Usually when they cut clips short, that means they fumble. Little wildcat. Let's go. Uh, let's go. And one thing about it, this dude know where to fall for the first down. I can tell you that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They ain't got the man throwing passes out here, do they? Nah, they ain't got the man throwing passes. Yes, sir. Okay, Lord. I like that coach. I like that coach. Man, this man I'm playing running back and throwing fade balls on the goal line. I'm loving it. <laughs> hey, only in South Florida can you get away with that, boy. You go from running back to let me, hey, man, coach, let me throw this fade ball right quick. Hold on, he doing it again? Uh, get some. Hold up, man. This might have been the best play so far. It looked like a little draw. Look at this. Get up out of there. Man, Coach, I'm keeping my eyes open. And he hit the man in stride. This dude is a complete ball player. I love it. Hey, that's something definitely they can use at the next level. Halfback passes. Wildcat throw the ball. Yes, sir. Let's go. Great jump cut. Got to go back real quick, man. People underestimate that talent right there. Watch him in the hole. Boop, jump right there. Excellent job. Bob broke his back, right? Poor little Timmy. Yeah, I'm giving it to you, dog. Look at it. He leaning, he leaning and falling with it, man. <laughs> Guess what? Let's go. Free hand again. Another free hand. Great job. Come on, Thad. This cat balling, boy. Hey, I'm glad, I'm glad you're going to the canes, baby. Look at this. I like this dude. They look like they playing Hollandale. If I'm not mistaken. Hollandale got some ball players too, man. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Trying to do them Sunday highlights, man. <laughs> I'm loving it. Perfect, man. Hey, listen, Thad, you balling out here, man. Let me get into the pro game. One, 
You play behind your shoulder pads. I not one time did I think I saw you got tackled and you went backwards or even lateral. All right. Two, you do a great job with your free hand, keeping those guys off you. A lot of people don't understand that. All right. One of the best players I ever even had the privilege of coaching, right, and watch play, went to University of Miami. His name is Duke Johnson. He did a great job with that free hand, man. Kept people off of him. He actually, ended, I went to another school and he actually beat me with that free hand when I was at Jackson and he was still at New Orleans, right? Third and 33, he gets it, right? Because of that free hand. So you do a great job with that. Third, I'm highly impressed you throwing the ball out here, bro. That shows that you got some athleticism about you and you just not running the ball. Only con I saw your game and I brought a mention to it. And I don't really think it's a con, but it's more of people's perception becomes reality. They think they, I don't think people will look at this film and say he can take it 60, right? He'll get caught. Okay, now that one, that monkey did jump on your back. So you got to make sure you take care of that. Get those sprints in, get that wind up. But bro, you carry the ball 47 times in a game, bro. Trust me, you are truly a workhorse. So I ain't even knocking. Him. So with all that being said, you a ball player. I can't wait to see you play uh, for the Canes, man, on Saturdays. And I'm definitely going to be following your career. As well as, you know, I do my Canes show every Saturday uh, before the game and after the game. We do a pre and a post game show. So make sure you check it out. Real quick, follow me on CoachHaysFootball.com. Also, follow me over my uh, platforms that's over my head. All right, check it out. As well as, copy your post little Timmy merch. All right, that helps this channel out um, as well. So, with all that being said, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you are aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel. And Coach Hayes is going to holler at you.